Well, all of you devoted baseball fans here in the East, get ready to grab those boiled peanuts and the chili cheese dogs as you head out to Guy Smith Stadium next summer to watch a Coastal Plain League baseball team right here in Greenville. City Council has considered bringing in a squad for some time now and voted unanimously in favor of doing so tonight after consulting with league owners about a lease agreement that includes a million dollars worth of improvements to the stadium. Jalen Holloway was at City Hall as the room erupted with excitement tonight following that decision, and he's live now with reaction. Jalen? Well, Dave, a wise man once said, quote, love is the most important thing in the world, but baseball is pretty good too, unquote, especially in Greenville's case because many believe this Coastal Plain League baseball team is going to just elevate the city's status. The soon-to-be squad will not only give baseball lovers epic battles on the diamond, but also a chance to potentially see some of the next big league stars. Baseball fanatics at Guy Smith Stadium will soon be belting out hey batter batter hey batter batter swing as they witness Greenville's very own Coastal Plain League baseball team in summer 2024. And it just feels like this is a, a, a natural fit. On Thursday night, city council members collectively voted in favor of assembling the squad. The unanimous decision also means the city is chipping in $500,000 towards a million dollars in stadium improvements. League owner Capital Broadcasting will pay the rest. The team will be made up of ball players from several colleges, but with it being an ECU snack of the woods, people like Coastal Plain League Commissioner Chip Allen and Council Member Marion Blackburn say it's hard not to envision Pirates playing for the team. You know, a lot of people, their, their summer, this may be the best summer of their life, and their, their career may end here, but a lot may go on. But what we're trying to do is build and get people and kids ready for that next level. Capital will lease Guy Smith Stadium for a 10-year period between May 15th and September 30th. During the period, Capital will also pay an annual $30,000 to the city of Greenville. And before you start thinking about getting those Cracker Jacks, Allen will first need help picking out the team's name. I could sit here and tell you that it should be pirate themed and it could be all sorts of things. Edward Teach, whatever it is, right? But the reality is it's about the fans in this part and we want the fans to embrace this. Now, Capital will have all rights to set prices for tickets, food, parking, and any other stadium expenses at home games. But look on the bright side. The league season consists of 24 home games, 24 road games, along with an all-star game and playoffs. That just sounds like more baseball to me, Dave. So if you grab the drinks and popcorn, <laughs> I'll meet you there. Sounds like a good time. First of all, we have to come up with a name, so we'll have to be uh, thinking about that. Yeah, definitely going to be a... Uh, head scratcher. Yeah, maybe like the Greenville Cannons or something like that. <laughs> Just a thought. We'll think about it. All right, thanks, Jalen. Well, the league also says it will be working closely with the Babe Ruth League to try and arrange it to where they can both hold games.